see the NYU Abu Dhabi graduating class of 2022, future leaders, faculty and staff, the board of trustees, and family and friends of today's graduates. Thank you for having me here with you virtually to celebrate this auspicious occasion. I wish I could be there with you in person. I've been to the campus before and seen what an amazing place of learning that it is. You know, today marks an incredible personal milestone. When you decided years ago to come to NYU Abu Dhabi, you probably had no idea what was in store or how these years would shape and change you. The experiences you've had, the friends you've made, the professors who've inspired you, they helped you discover your best self. You couldn't have imagined that your college years would get caught up in a global pandemic changing everything, making everything harder, and causing some of you incredible personal losses. Like many of you right now, the world is around us is beginning a new chapter. We face this new era with slight trepidation, much hope, and the cold comfort that everyone is experiencing this challenge together. Yet here you are, in person for the first time since COVID began. There's no better tribute to the challenges you face than being able to hug your fellow classmates and share this moment with your family. You did it. This day was years in the making, but it comes with a question. Where do you go from here? This may be the greatest personal achievement that you've accomplished in your life so far. So far. The opportunities before you are as vast as the observable universe. I want you to take a moment today on a day when anything seems possible, to ask yourself how high and far you can truly go. The uncertainty of our time gives you the chance to think creatively about how you will explore and grow and contribute to the world around you. You didn't arrive here today by giving up when faced with the inevitable setbacks that all of us encounter in life. The pandemic is just one example. It's unprecedented in scope and impact but we can address and overcome it in all aspects of our lives if we come together with creative solutions. Your dreams, imagination, and commitment to tackle this head on have already made an impact. As you move onward and upward, my graduation day advice for you comes from five plucky robots currently over 150 million miles from here on the surface of Mars. The rover that landed on the red planet in February of 2021 carries a name that is at the core of every great human achievement and particularly meaningful in this moment in the years ahead for the class of 2022. Perseverance. After more than a year on Mars, Perseverance has only just arrived at a site called Three Forks where an ancient river flowed billions of years ago. Over the next six months, Perseverance will collect samples that we hope will contain fossilized evidence of microbes or other ancient life on Mars. After a years long journey across millions of miles, this work has only just begun and the possibilities for discovery seem limitless. Along for the ride, Perseverance carries a small helicopter drone named Ingenuity. Ingenuity is what's known as a technology demonstration, not essential to the goals of, mi of the mission, but sent along to test a new capability. Ingenuity became the first craft to complete a powered flight on another planet. And it didn't just fly once nor five times as its engineers had hoped. Ingenuity has flown above the surface of Mars 28 times, living up to its name and surpassing all expectations in an unforgiving landscape far from home. Ingenuity, both the spacecraft and the intangible concept is about pushing towards something new. And success doesn't always look the way you expect it to. Years ago, I led a team proposing to send a floating probe, essentially a boat, to a methane sea on the surface of Saturn's moon Titan. The mission wasn't selected, but we pushed the envelope for low cost and innovative exploration concepts. And now I'm a co-investigator on a mission called Dragonfly to that same moon, Titan, this time an octocopter on a boat. Ingenuity can lead to failure, but it also leads to eventual success. Let's go back to Mars. Before per perseverance and ingenuity, there was curiosity. For humans, curiosity begets ingenuity and fuels perseverance. 
and why you Abu Dhabi emphasizes the importance of an interconnected world. So I know all of you are innately curious. Nurture that and never let it go. Continue to learn about other people, about other countries, about other worlds. Have intellectual curiosity about your field and explore subjects outside of your wheelhouse. Answers to intractable problems have a way of presenting themselves in unexpected places. By now, I think you're starting to see a theme with the rover names, perseverance, ingenuity, curiosity. We named our robot emissaries after the traits that help us reach for the stars, which brings us to our next rover, opportunity. If you watch for them, you will always find opportunities to grow, whether in your career or an exciting new adventure. Trust me, I know it can be scary to take advantage of new opportunities. They can present their own challenges and uncertainty. But don't let fear or anxiety parallel you. For me, my mentors played a huge role in making sure I didn't let exciting opportunities pass me by. My mentors didn't just help me navigate my work. They truly acted as my champions. A champion will not only think of you when an opportunity presents itself, but they'll encourage you and help you seize it. And remember, when the time comes, be a champion for others. We grow and succeed by building off the hard work of those before us and shoulder to shoulder with the people around us. Careers don't always move in straight lines. Mine didn't. I worked on technology programs, science missions, Earth missions, Venus uh, missions, Mars, Saturn. I took on leadership roles I didn't think I was ready for, and sometimes I probably wasn't. But by taking every opportunity, even if it wasn't in my plan, I built a resume that took me to become the chief scientist of NASA and now the undersecretary for science and research at the Smithsonian, leading science initiatives around the world and across the galaxy. Our catalog of Martian rovers and her human virtues wouldn't be complete without spirit. A passionate spirit is one of the most essential elements in a successful career. It's key to inspiring people you'll lead. Sometimes I wonder what my 10-year-old self would think about my job today. I get to go to work every day and do what I'm most passionate about. I hope she'd be proud, inspired to keep facing life's challenges, and maybe a little relieved to know it will all work out. But of course, that would spoil the surprise of finding that path for herself. As you lead, leave here today, I want you to hold on to the perseverance, ingenuity, curiosity, opportunity, and spirit that you feel right now. I said you got here through your hard work and tenacity, which is true, but you also know that the support of family, friends, teachers, and others help too. Always know that they are still behind you every step of the way. We all stand with you, and we can't wait to see what you'll do next. Build and nurture those relationships. Be kind and patient with each other and support each other's dreams. I wish you the best of luck. I know you won't really need it. Just keep looking forward. Imagine the world you want to see and question what seems impossible. I can't wait to see the amazing future that you have in store for us. Thank you and congratulations. Thank you to President Hamilton, Vice Chancellor Westerman, and NYU Abu Dhabi for this award. It is an honor to be considered a peer by an institution that shares so many of the Smithsonian's values. Both of our organizations work towards a more engaged, interconnected world where all voices are heard and all people can discover their full potential. I hope our two institutions can pursue that dream together in the years to come. Joined now by the class of 2022. Thank you again and congratulations to today's graduates.